So we are getting ready to press a very full tank of Presqu'ile Syrah from 2021. And the first thing we do is we're gonna put this, what we call the bullet in, pump out as much of the free run juice as we can. And it's gonna go from this fermenter into this tank. That's the first step. What is free run juice? Free run juice is the juice that exists in the tank prior to any pressing. It's just existing there and you can pull it out without any pressure, without having to squeeze the grapes at all. It's that's sort of the juice that's formed during fermentation that's separate, completely separate from the skins. Yeah. And is there something special about free run juice? Uh, it tends to have less tannin. Um, it tends to be some of the best juice. Mm -hmm. We always incorporate a little bit of the soft press into our blend and then the hard press we separate out. Okay. Yeah. We can talk more about that in a second. Okay. Put your bullet in, boy. Okay. Oh, it really goes down in there, huh? And then we're going to connect it up to our pump. And it'll probably take 15 or 20 minutes to pump all this wine out. This is a two-ton tank, so there's quite a bit of wine in here. And after we've gotten all the free run out, then we'll work on getting all the, the grapes into the press. Which is right there. Okay, all the valves are closed. Everything's tight. That's important because you don't want things leaking all over the ground. Sample valves closed. How many times would you say you've hooked the hose up and forgotten to check the valves and things have leaked? Not very often. Because couple, you... couple of times. <laughs> and then you don't do it again? Then you don't do it again. Okay, okay. so here we go. I'm gonna use the air pressure. Oop. See, it's already kind of coming out through the hose, going into the tank. So at this point, we've pumped out oh, probably 200 gallons or so of juice. And you can see uh, a lot of the wine is no longer in the tank. We've now tipped the tank a little bit just to try to get as much as we can out of there prior to pressing. It makes it a lot easier to load the press uh, when we finally do enter the tank. You can see these grapes are not super wet, but they're not super dry either. But this is why we press them and we'll squeeze them and get the... How much out. more juice do you think you'll get out of it once you press those grapes? I would say we probably get two thirds of it in free run, and then the remaining third is press, and we use maybe half of that press wine in, in the actual wine, and kind of the soft press. And the rest you use for topping wine? Um, it depends on the quality of it. We may blend it down to a different label. We may sell it off in bulk. It all just depends on, on the ultimate quality of it, but we do like to keep it separate. I could help you, but instead I'll just stand here in the video. All set? Good. Now we're going to start shoveling the tank out. So this is the fun part. Getting strong. Building those muscles. Um, this is my job. I make sure that the grapes, I know you think I didn't do anything, right? It looks like I don't do anything, but I'm making sure that the grapes go into the press and don't overflow. Push it to the sides of the press because we have a very small press. So I gotta get my hands in here and sort of move it in either direction so this grapes don't overflow here. One of the annoying things is, is that when you get your face down in this mess, um, you know, a lot of carbon dioxide is produced during fermentation and sometimes uh, it feels like you might suffocate putting your face down there, which is not very pleasant. We're starting to get a little bit more full. Sunday. Uh, the press is full. Do you want to get a peek here? Actually, we could have fit in. Can you see? We could have fit in a little bit more, but here you can kind of see what, as we squeeze juice out, we're going to get all of that, all of that good stuff in there. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. But this is why I don't have nice nails. 
About how long will this press for? Uh, about 90 minutes. And now my job is to clean the tank. So I've taken the valves off. There and here. And then there's some schmutzy stuff in the bottom. The press has finished its cycle and so now we are emptying it and we're just dumping all the dried grapes into the uh, into the bin here. You started without me. Well, is it finished? It's finished, you can see okay. they're, they're really dry. Yeah, squeeze that so we can see the difference between when I held it up before and I mean, yeah, is, that's real dry. There's nothing in there. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay, so I realized I cut that video off before I uh, we actually completed what we were doing, which was uh, the wine is in tank, uh, the pomace that was now in that uh, macro bin that was below the press, Peter takes that and dumps that, and then I clean the press, and then the next day, or two or three days later, whenever uh, we get around to it, uh, we will move the wine that is in tank uh, into barrels. So it will settle out, and what we say is that it's gross lees, or the uh, the solids that are in the wine will fall to the bottom of the tank. We will pull the wine off those. The gross leaves can get a little stinky sometimes, so you don't want all those solids like in contact with the wine. And then the wine will sit in barrel for about 16 months, and that's it. And that's how your red wine is made.